just got done unloading some skidded coils. It's been a busy week. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Thurston Avenue. Finished the uh, truck show. And then, uh, is it Wednesday? Wednesday, I loaded uh, some skidded coils. Or, excuse me. Wednesday, I loaded a big coil. 43,000 pound coil going down to Texas. Went down by Corpus Christi, Texas. Take the next right onto Thurston Avenue. I delivered that on Friday. Reloaded skidded coils on Friday. Came back up here. I'm in Minneapolis. We just delivered our skidded coils in Minneapolis. We're going to run over to Wisconsin about 120 miles. And go pick up, uh, supposed to be, I think it's some crates. It's going back down to Orange, Texas. light load going down to Texas so we'll put the axle up once we get out of this weather oh man I uh, the next right onto Lark Avenue I had to tarp Tarp out weather. Oh. 
get uh, some fuel. In 800 feet, turn left onto Melby Street. We're going to get some fuel, and then we're going to head down to uh, the Petro in Rochelle. There's a Walmart right next to there. I might do a Walmart run. Stock up on a little bit of groceries. So I'll see you when we get there. As you can see the weather got really bad it is snowing quite a bit I was trying to get down to Rochelle to the Petro let me uh, show you guys the map here if it shows up we're the little blue dot that's where that's us the red dot that's the Petro the Rochelle that's where I was trying to get to the roads are getting slippery I was uh, sliding around quite a bit and I only got about 10,000 pounds so it can go two ways they'll clean this up and it'll get better and you can see see all the orange and yellow that's where you know the storms coming through so I'm like right in the middle of it and it's just this little area right here so hopefully it'll clear up but we're gonna go all right we've been here for about two hours a little over two hours I was looking at the map so you see how the interstates let me get a little bit closer see how the interstates all green now a little bit of yellow but nothing too crazy I'm trying to get down to the Petro so about 120 miles away so you can still see all the yellow up here so I think that storms moved across so we're gonna give it a shot, get out there. I got to uh, clean the snow off the mirrors and that mirror. And then uh, we'll get going here. She knows that word. You hungry? I said, Dad, it's been a long day. 
Oh, uh, we did manage to drive. We did manage to drive 400 miles. Uh, I still got to do Walmart run. Walmart's right back behind us a little bit. So I'll do that in the morning. Hopefully the weather's okay. Um, we'll do Walmart run. And then we're going to make our way down into Missouri. Hopefully down to uh, Matthews. Is that it? Matthews, Missouri. That's where I'm hoping. All right, it's Wednesday afternoon. We made it down to Janesville last night. We left this morning. I did run over to Walmart. It was snowing and raining and everything else. Windy over there in Rochelle this morning too. It's Rochelle, Illinois. And I must have bumped a curb or something last night backing in. But I lost a mud flap. This is a new mud flap that uh, I keep under the bed in the truck. I actually have another set because Dorsey sent me some fancy mud flaps and I keep them so I don't know if it blew off or what happened but we'll go out and take a look at it I also lost a hubcap on the front wheel but we'll go outside take a look and then uh, I'm gonna put this mud flap on real quick all right we'll start in the front up here oh I had to put my winter cover on yesterday too I got to take that off but I lost my hubcap cover thing right there so that doesn't affect the performance of the truck this is what we loaded my tarps blowing around I gotta fix that the wind has been unbelievable this is what we loaded they're wooden crates tarp jobs holding up pretty good actually so but I don't know if I pulled backed into a curb yesterday, last night, but somebody a while back had mentioned about cutting the grooves in the mud flap. And I did that, which is a good thing because it didn't rip up the metal on there. But at all the hardware, I did buy some new screws for the uh, mud flap, but. I'm going to put that back on. All right, that was easy enough fix. I got one shiny one and one dirty one. But that'd be all right. Oh. Man, this weather. I thought we were done with this stuff.